If you're building your own rig, it's vital you get the best CPU for gaming that you can afford. While that isn't as essential as tracking down a great graphics card, getting the right CPU can make a huge difference not only to your games, but to everything you do outside of play. Chances are you'll be using your mighty expensive PC for other things, which is where the CPU comes into its own. There are a handful of options for CPUs nowadays, although Intel still dominates the landscape. We bought these CPUs for gaming for testing on Amazon from the official sellers, and if you want to get the same experience that we did, we highly recommend that you buy from the same place. Links will be in the description. If you like this video, remember to click like and subscribe. Intel Core i9-9900K The best processor can mean a lot of things. For pure gaming, the Core i9-9900K is overkill, unless you're planning on an extreme build with a top-tier graphics card. For those that do more than just playing games, however, the Core i9-9900K reigns as the overall king of performance. It's the fastest mainstream CPU for the LGA1151 platform, period. The Core i9-9900K doesn't have the core counts found of chips like the i9-7980XE or Threadripper 2990WX, but it boasts the highest clock speed of any current processor, with excellent per-core performance. Put it in a good enthusiast motherboard and you're likely to see all core stock clocks of 4.7 GHz, with lighter workloads hitting 5 GHz out of the box. You'll need to bring your own cooling, which is Intel's approach to all its K-series and X-series processors, and definitely don't skimp. The i9-9900K can draw a lot of power and tends to run hotter than the previous gen, thanks to the extra cores. Even if you don't plan to overclock, I'd be hesitant to run the i9-9900K on air cooling. Intel Core i7-9700K Intel's Core i7-9700K is an interesting step down from the i9-9900K. It sports the same number of CPU cores and clock speeds are similar as well, with most Z390 boards running the chip with all-core turbo speeds of 4.6 to 4.7 GHz. In games, it's effectively tied with the more expensive Core i9 but costs $100 to $150 less. That's because, for the first time, Intel has shipped a Core i7 without hyper-threading. It's a balancing act between price, performance, and features. Compared to the Core i7-8700K, it has 33% more cores, which generally translates directly into multi-threaded performance. Hyper-threading typically only improves performance by 10-15%, to so it's a net win. The lack of hyper-threading also means the i7-9700K doesn't get nearly as hot as the Core i9, so you can get by with a good air cooler. If you're live streaming, doing video editing, or any other serious content creation work, stepping up to the 9900K makes sense. But if you're primarily concerned with gaming, an 8-core coffee lake clocking close to 5 GHz is as good as it gets. Intel Core i7-8700K Last year's King of the Hill, the Core i7-8700K still boasts excellent performance and can clock at 5 GHz with a good cooler. It's also less expensive than the above CPUs, at least for the time being, and works in the same motherboards. It's a bit of a toss-up between this and the 9700K right now, with the 8700K currently saving you around 50 bucks. There are a few caveats as well, like the fact that the i7-8700K depends on software and firmware mitigations for side-channel attacks like Meltdown, Spectre, and Foreshadow. You also still need to bring your own cooler, and unlike the 9th gen Intel CPUs, you don't get solder as a TIM, thermal interface material. Delitting and using liquid metal can be a good investment for a long-term overclocking as it provides a potential 10 to 20 C drop in thermals. Intel Core i5-8400 The Core i5-8400 brings a powerful 6-core design to the mid-range, offering class-leading gaming performance and competitive performance in heavier applications. More expensive models offer more performance in both categories, but the Core i5-8400 is easily the pound-for-pound -pound gaming champion. The i5-8400 wades into the market with six physical cores and no hyper-threading, which is 50% increase in cores compared to the KB Lake i5 series. The 2.8 GHz base frequency jumps to 4 GHz on a single core. That's complemented by varying multi-core boost frequencies based upon the number of active cores. AMD Ryzen 7 2700 
The best AMD CPU for overclockers is the Ryzen 7 2700. At stock, it's a bit slower than the 2700X and even the previous generation 1800X, and it's also slower than the i7-8700K. And in a better cooler and overclock, you can erase most of these deficits. If you don't care to overclock, the Ryzen 7 2700X gets you better stock performance for a minor increase in price, and includes a better cooler. Consider this a recommendation for either CPU, depending on which way you lean. The reason the 2700 is such a great CPU for overclocking is that it's still fully unlocked, just like AMD's other Ryzen processors. At stock, there's a 65 watt power limit in effect, which means in heavier workloads the clock speed can drop to around 3.5 GHz. Overclocking can get you back up to around 4.05 to 4.1 GHz with 1.425 volts in my testing, which is only 100 MHz behind the more expensive 2700X. Intel Core i9-7980XE Did you win the lottery and are looking for ways to blow your newfound wealth? Or did your work write you a blank check for a new workstation? Same difference, and if your livelihood depends on getting complex tasks done as quickly as possible, you should be able to justify Intel's Core i9-7980XE. If you don't bill by the hour and can save hundreds of hours over the course of a year, look no further. Just don't pretend it's necessary for gaming. Even with 80% more cores, the lower clock speeds of each core make the 7980XE generally slower in games than the 7900X, which is in turn slower than a 9900K, 9700K, and 8700K. Even in non-gaming, heavily threaded applications, it's still only about 30% faster than the 7900X. The law of diminishing returns is in full effect. AMD Ryzen Threadripper 2990WX if you're a professional looking for the absolute fastest multi-threaded performance possible in a single socket, look no further than AMD's Threadripper 2990WX. 32 cores at 3.0 to 4.2 GHz is unstoppable in the right workloads, like scientific calculations and 3D rendering. But there are also weaknesses in the many tasks that simply don't scale to that many cores and threads. Gaming is one of the weaknesses, not because you can't game, but because you end up with a platform that generally loses to the Ryzen 7 desktop processors. We bought these CPUs for gaming for testing on Amazon from the official sellers, and if you want to get the same experience that we did, we highly recommend that you buy from the same place. Links will be in the description. If you like this video, remember to click like and subscribe.